Hey, Mr. Adloff. Welcome, welcome to Kyle and I's one-on-one -on -one vehicle project interview. So, um, Kyle, can you can you provide some evidence of our application of the steps of the engineering design process? We're doing this again. <laughs> so, like, okay, fine, fine. So, first of all, I'm being honest. We did not spend that much time with our project. We did. But, okay, so we had this great idea, right? It was literally everyone else's idea of using an elastic, right? Except we were smart enough to think about, hey, what if we may had an axle that was attached to the wheels, like, tight on the wheels, you know? So, like, when the wheels move, the axle moves, and when the axles move, the wheels move, you know? And we decided to put the, the wah wah the whoosh, where we the spool where we put the elastic in and we would like we would pull back on the spool or pull back on the vehicle like right and it would pull like the elastic and car carry it like in there without it like sliding around you know like that so like when anything connected to that axle moved the wheels would move right so it was pretty genius right yes Yeah, not so genius. Another, yeah, not so genius apparently, cause our elastic was stupid big, and stupid got in the way, and things were not as tight as they were, as their true potential, you know. So things didn't go as expected. I also think another issue with it was the friction, and how we attach the wheels, cause as you, as you can see. No, I can't see uh, it. Wait for this one. This moves freely. And so that was a very large issue that we were trying to fix day of because it we didn't realize it. Um, yeah. Uh, what a shame. Uh, you got some questions for me. Okay, am I going to say the same thing where you should provide evidence of your use of data? Parentheses, observational and measured parentheses to make design decisions through your process of engineering the vehicle. Yeah, so we um so we do not have really that much data to show for this. We have no data. We got yeah, we got no data. What I will say though is <laughs> really don't get any observational. Observational. Okay. So an observational thing that we had is that I remember from the test in class that you should have the back thing be bigger so that's also another reason why we had the it's just like it's a lot thicker than just a little wooden thing um mm -hmm. yeah um i feel like if if we could have used the observation better i probably oh no 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 okay hear me out the lawnmower wheels were a good idea right because like we didn't we had a pretty large vehicle right we don't want no like baby wheels right we yeah. want some heavy duty lawnmower wheels which i don't know if it proved to be a good thing or a bad thing but it proved to be a thing yeah it definitely was not the reason that it did that yeah, yeah. um all right kyle hi can you provide some some evidence of our understanding the science behind our design by explaining its operation using appropriate science terminology for our appropriate science work level. Okay, um, like I said before, right, we had the axle, which was connected to everything in the back, or which was supposed to connect everything to the back so tightly so when one thing moved, the other would also spin, right? So we knew that, like, by attaching an elastic from the base of the vehicle to the the wah wah spinny middle thingy what's it called like the the, wait, the this part? thing the spool yeah yeah the spool and we would connect it to the spool and we would pull the elastic back using the axe or whatever and it should have like the elastic should have tugged on the axle or it should have tugged on the spool which tugged on the axle, which should have tugged the wheels and moved it forward. But obviously there were some 
errors, including the elastic we used, which was big and it kind of like gone the way, which wasn't the biggest issue. The biggest issue was that the wheels weren't fully locked in with the axle, so it kind of just did whatever it wanted. Also, another issue I noticed with our thing was that the elastic would just completely like roll out, or like once we pull it back, it would all like, <laughs> you know, yeah. it would all just like shoot out instead of just like gradually getting less and less tense as the vehicle goes forward, which was a mis a, not a mistake, but a problem that we couldn't really fix like mid uh testing what we did end up doing however is we just we just took this and wrapped it around like this which did work a little bit it, it worked better than what we had we did get the two meters and the 58 centimeters up the ramp which I will take any day of the I won't take it, zero. but Owen will take it, so whatever. Compared to a zero, Kyle, come on now. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I think You're just weird, like, like, we could easily well, have done better. Listen, that was, uh, I would say this is digitally prepared, creative. Well, Not this was creative because look at the top text. It's so, it's so, it's so blurry and disgusting, <laughs> and it's it doesn't this this overlay is so boring <laughs> huh well, i'd say it's it's communicated clearly i mean yeah clear. we're communicating communicating it clearly but it's grammatically correct and concise uh, it's concise i wouldn't call it creative this is just what we did last time i mean yeah it was very creative it was very good i like it a plus